All right, it's time. I've been grinding for a long time. Y'all know that. And it's time I achieve one of my long lost goals. All right, I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm a little more than 30,000 away. So please, Pharaohs, help me run my sub count up in the month of September. If you watch this video, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers in one month to get to 100K. Again, we can do this, Pharaohs. I trust in my Pharaohs. Y'all didn't help me down and pay my bills for over a year. And I know we can do this together. We've been through a lot. The grind ain't never stopped. And we going forward in the month of September. I need about 30,000 subscribers in the month of September to achieve this goal. I'm going to grind my behind off to get to it. I know we got it in us. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. We finna do something amazing and have our moment. By the end of September, 30,000 subscribers in one month. Let's go. Go, Mr. Telefetto TV. How's everybody doing? All right, let's try to break this story down. Here's what happened. Joel Osteen, pastor out in Houston, one of the biggest pastors in the world. He might be the biggest pastor in the world right now. He has a church out in Houston, Texas. We already know what Houston is going through with Hurricane Harvey. His church, Lakewood Church, holds 16,000 people. Originally, Joel Osteen and his wife opted to not open their church uh to shelter people obviously you got people on boats trying to get from under the water literally and into safety and joel osteen has a church of sixteen thousand people now when you think church what do you think shelter you think uh support you think someone that's there for the people in a time of need because the people are there for the church week in and week out remember Joel Osteen, and you can say this is not relevant or whatever, his net worth is $40 million. And remember, churches all around this country, and I ain't even just trying to call out Joel Osteen. This is a church problem. All around this country, tons of money every weekend. Now, I know a lot of that money is to keep the church open because church is a business. Don't ever get it twisted. Um, a lot of that money is to go back in the communities, we thought. But I thought a part of being a member of a church is Man, we get we we make sure y'all are around week to week. We pay dues, we you know what I mean, or tithes or whatever, and offerings. We want to be able to be taken care of when we're down and y'all up. Like guys, we the ones hold y'all down. That's what, how this thing works, right? Joel Osteen, them they didn't want to open the church at first, right? Twitter tagged into Mr. Joel Osteen, Pastor Joel Osteen, and now he's opened the church again. I'm happy. I don't care what it takes as long as more people will be sheltered um, with this 16,000 person church. And again, now I think Joel Osteen has gotten on top of it there. They have uh, a lot of necessities, food, clothing, everything. Right. Because a lot of that is going. You got to think kids just started school what, a week ago in Houston. A lot of these kids school clothes are done. Clothes, period, are done. Homes are done. And. I just think this is a time where everybody needs to be on this, the same page. And if you ain't trying to help, what are you really trying to do? Because I know them church them church doors will be open Sunday morning, right? And I don't know if, if Lakewood's thinking about the bottom line, if they don't want... Because when you let a lot of people in, here's the reality of the situation. That's more resources for Lakewood Church to have to give, to get people to volunteer, take off from their jobs if some still working. Um, to help out at the church, you need more volunteers, you need more workers, and you, you, you know, you risk the damages happening to the church, to Lakewood Church, just because there are more people there than usual. I get it, but this is the church's responsibility. This is why y'all held down week to week. This is why y'all pastor makes the big bucks to be there for the people in time of need. Uh, for those who don't know the Superdome in New Orleans, went through a lot of critical damages after people were allowed to stay in it during the Katrina. But I don't care. People were the ones that held that Superdome up, paying for those tickets week to week. And just like in Houston, people are the ones paying for Joel Osteen's salary. And I don't care. The church is supposed to be there for people. This shouldn't even be a conversation. Now, I know Joel Osteen has opened the church now, but I don't believe it's because of out of his heart. I believe it's because Twitter, again, Twitter tagged into that behind and Twitter evokes change in 2017. Nevertheless, again, I'm happy people are now sheltered in that church wherever people can get sheltered at.
But man, that just sets a bad precedent. I'm telling you now, bro. I think a lot of people in this country have God. But I, I don't think a lot of people want anything to do with churches. And when you hear stories, stories like that, when the, when the pastor is 40 million up, man, these people want shelter. They don't care how they get it right now. And when you hear the church, first off, initially turn that back on the people, that ain't right. I ain't rocking with that. Subscribe to my channel, 100K Gang. We on the way. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yo!